church since last month. And I welcome you this month too. And today, throughout today, we'll be focusing on in-laws. And we'll see you in the world. And we we'll Ogo. Abi? They call them, I don't know what I was called in law. Maybe Mrs. Christopher will help us. She understands our language very well. What do you call in laws? You don't have an answer to that. Okay. Praise the Lord. Let's go to Matthew chapter 19, verse 4 and verse 5. Matthew 19, 4 and 5. Can we have it on screen? We always stand up to read in honor of God's word. Hallelujah. Let's be on our feet. Let's be on our feet. Now, while they are bringing it, I want to take the introduction of the message. You know, uh, I'm saying this so that we all can be very watchful. Now, you know why I say we should be very, very watchful? We must be mindful of our environment. Now, the society where we are being raised, born and raised, is different from the society where some people are being born and raised. You know, in the African setting, understand clearly, there's a way uh, we treat in-laws. Though the Bible did not give us um, um, clarity on how you must undo them, but we must apply wisdom. The Bible says wisdom is what? Profitable to direct. So we must apply wisdom. So we shouldn't uh, neglect, uh, or how do, I, how do I put it? We shouldn't allow... Uh, the things we see on TV to make us misbehave. Our culture is different from the culture of those living abroad. If you are abroad, if you live abroad, when they have aged people, they take them to old people's homes. You go and put them there, and those people will be taking care of your parents for you till you die. In the African, I mean, till they die, sorry, not till you die, till they die. Now, in the African setting, it is not like that. In fact, Toba no Mwarubwe, Sili Awarubo, Awara Dubulu, Mashae Kifwe, Fe Ah, Ewamo Buruku, Ewamo Ushi, Ewobolon, she blessed her too. Imagine, she Li Awarubu, Ekumu, Mommy, Tabida Dielo, Omotio, Nikure. You know, these are things you hear in the African setting. And you know, the Bible is standing on a thin line on it. Now, let's look at what the Bible says. Now, I brought up this scripture to show you that the Bible recognizes that you have in law. Let's go. Matthew chapter 19, verse 4 and verse 5. We're waiting for you. We don't have all the time. Let's read together one, two, and let's go. And he answered and said to them, Have you not read that who made them at the beginning? Made them male and female. Verse 5. Let's go. And said, for this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. Now, if you look at the scripture here, there's recognition for in-laws. That's why you see that a man will leave father and mother. So, there are in-laws. There's father-in-law, there's mother-in-law. And the husband to have in-laws in the wife, side of the wife. Let's be seated in his presence. Amen. So, in-laws are recognized in the Bible. The, man, the Bible did not say, therefore, the man will fall from heaven and go and be united to his wife that came from the earth. No. The man will leave his father and mother. The man has father and mother. The woman has father and mother. So, who are in-laws? Let's start from there. Who are in-laws? Who are in-laws? Who are in-laws? Who are in-laws? Now, an in-law is anyone related to you by marriage. And it will be a bad marriage. Anyone that is related to you by marriage. That's why you have brother-in-law. Uh, my wife's brothers are my brother-in-laws. You know, her sister, her sister is my sister-in-law. You get it right now. So you have in-laws are those related to you by marriage. And do you know that the Bible mentioned the word in-laws 67 times from Genesis to Revelation. It appeared how many times? 67. In fact, 
the, that word in law is even more popular than some other topics in the Bible. The Bible didn't mention some topics for too much, too much the way it mentioned in law. So I wrote here always understand that your spouse is a member of a family. Your spouse is a member of a family. He or she came out of that family to raise his or her own family with you. Now, my wife was a member of the Oresonyas family before she came out to get married to me. Now, I am a member of, I used to, I'm a member of the Afolabis family raised under my parents before I came out by marriage to come and get married to my wife. Now, I am raising Prince Will and Yemesis family. Are you getting what I'm saying? Hello? So, understand clearly. Now, I have brothers. My brothers are her brother-in-law. My sister is her sister-in-law. Understand what it means to have in-laws. Praise the Lord. I wrote here again, understand that the Bible recognizes the presence, the existence of in-laws. So, don't carry the mindset that they don't exist. Oh, exist the jaw. Wrong mindset in you. And as you see them, they are in-laws. If you don't handle the issue of in-laws very well, it can break your home. If you don't handle the issue of in-laws very well, you might be sitting in marriage and not enjoy marriage at all. So, like in my place, now in my place, as a Yoruba man, they will say, ah, so there's wisdom. It doesn't mean worship them. It means that there's a way you manage, you manage your in-laws. So I've been able to explain that. In-laws are existing biblically. Now let's go quickly. How then should we manage the in-laws so as not to begin to have problems? Uh, uh, oh, yes, so I will not be having problems. Let's go in clearly. I want to start by saying we need to get it right at the foundation. We need to what? Get it right at the foundation. Look at how important foundation is in Psalm 11 verse 3. Psalm 11 verse 3 says, If the foundation be destroyed, what can the righteous do? Now, if we don't get it right at the foundation, look at it clearly. If the foundations are destroyed, what can the righteous do? Do you know that there are some families now, if the wife has misunderstanding, there is nobody from the fat husband's side that can come up to support the wife. Some, there is nobody from the wife's side that can come up to say, okay, you know what happened? Let me just come up and see how we can make peace. Some families are praying that the husband and wife scatter. Why? Because it was not rightly undoed from the foundation. Uh, we have to do it well so that we can enjoy the pathway very well. Like I told you, we are Africans. Now, this message may not be relevant to people in Asia or in, in America, but we are Africans. That's why, if you look at the way we get married in Africa, you will see that number one priority in marriage is in-laws. That's why there's, there's what we call engagement. No, it didn't even start with engagement. It starts with introduction. Now, the Igbos, I think they call it Iqua Kauso. Yes, that you come to knock the door. That you are coming to knock the door. They will say you bring some drinks, you know, and some of your family members. They, so that they can know your intention. At that point of coming to knock, you are coming to say, I am the son of a, a, a buka. I am a businessman. My father is from Newi. Uh, this is what my grandfather does, you know. And uh, after you must have knocked the door, in the Igbo tradition, somebody will go and make investigation. Do they have epilepsy in their family? Do they used to have insanity in their family? Who are they? And are they uh, outcasts and things like that? Now, the same thing in Yoruba land too. When you come for introduction, it's okay. This, we have been seeing this boy coming around our daughter for some time. Bring your family members. Let's know them before we now go properly into engagement. Though they have commercialized it now, 
Today we see introduction. People will go and bring Allah God, Duro, Allah God, Joko, and she's a family member. Oh, now I Joko, ah, I don't do contact with you. I'm calling you. You see, like a John, like a John, Lori E.B., like a Mudani, who's a Allah God, Duro, who's a Allah God, Joko, oh, no, my Lord, my wife, so rough, my wife, I'm like a day, I'm like a day, la du bo won la du bo yin nile yin la go le yin la wa ni ka wa wa o ibadan lati wa la go le ori ologo lori tamerin lati wa baba ba wa ni mi baba won abi baba wa lo ran won you know they will introduce themselves you get it right at the foundation now let's go deeper he hallelujah so pay attention to us uh, where am i yes we must get it right at the foundation he says okay let's go on. now if the if uh, Sorry, it is foundationally wrong, hear me, for a man to marry his wife into his parents' house while they are still alive. I will tell you why. It is foundationally wrong. If you don't want to give a, any problem to your wife, see, once you go get married, go far. I will tell you why as we go on. So it is foundationally wrong for a man to marry his wife into his parents' house while they are still alive. Hear me. There is no how there will not be crisis. If you will raise a crisis-free marriage as a man, you will have to be independent first. Or else, you will put your wife in trouble, especially because of the African setting. What is in the African setting? In Africa, we believe that our wife the wife of our sons are magnified slaves. Magnified slaves. Though we don't say it. But our expectation says it. If I to marry to muya wo wa leto wa ngbele a bi e. On my expect pe ka won to ji o ye ki awo e ti ji. Ko ti pon mi ninu le. Ko ti da won inota won nje ta Am I communicating? They we expect these things. Because of what our African culture believes that there must be respect for elders. That's why even when she meets the one that is, she may be 30 years old and she meets the one that is 14 years old. You will hear, they will say, ah, yawuni, yawuwani, yakuma, kwenikini, ah, tabanti. So what am I saying? Get it. Foundation. Man must be independent. Before you get married, come out of your parents' house. Even if your daddy says, okay, my brother, my son, don't worry, I bought a land, this land, inside our compound. Come and build your house inside our compound. If they are still alive, don't build it. If you build it, don't live there. They won't have problem with you, their son. I'm talking from experience. I don't like to say it. But I'll be saying this truth to you. Your wife will not be free. Even if she's sick and your daddy picks they will be expecting. That's the mentality we have in Africa. Am I communicating? That's why the first thing you must do is for you to gain independence. My father has five flats that he has built in Ibadan here. Now, why didn't I say, okay, okay, my father has five flats and he has an, an extra land at the back. Let me go and build. If I do that, I won't bring respect to my wife. Get it right at the foundation. If they are still alive, don't do it. But if they are dead, you, you might do it. Now, that is if every other family member too have not decided to say, we are, we are resigning from landlord's house to my parent, our parents' house. When you bring a wife into a family house, what do you have? You have our wife. It's like you are angry this morning. Praise the Lord. So in Africa, we believe that the woman is an indirect magnified slave. And do you know what they also believe in Africa about the man? They believe that the man is a sponsor. Now, there's this, my pastor friend, they were having uh, 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 issues. He married his wife into his wife's father's house. That one too is wrong. 
Baba Lawani only ah, ah, oh come on me. I be uh, you know my first daughter's us. Okay, you you don't have a come to my house. Do you know that it got to a point whenever they have family meeting, they will call the, the daughter Laide Ole Lokoe Emiganti Mujeba Bato B a go me fa mutinji a go me son or correction hono iru or co she will look fair. These are things that are not supposed to be exposed to them. Our Yuba man so one in only any Latin shaking Latin day ute toni do do tabag be data aya we now what's the meaning of that proverb? There are some things we do in private because nobody is seeing us. If we do it outside, people will speak against us. Get it right from the foundation. Don't put your family in trouble. There are so many crises that should have been avoided if you do the right thing. I remember when we had challenge with accommodation. My dad was saying, uh -uh, I could have just come and take one flat, but I won't go. Because there are so many things about me that my parents don't know. There are so many things about my wife that they don't know that if they know, it will become crisis for me. So get it right from the foundation. You should not marry into your parents' house while they are still alive. Listen, the woman too should not encourage the man to move into her family house. If every family member Sorry, while every family member is still living there. Beloved, if you want a spouse that will be free and happy, you want a wife or a husband that will be free and happy, it is important you be far from your in-laws. That's my first point this morning. You want a wife that will be free. Not our wife that will be happy. Go far from your in-laws. Soon for one. Don't live in the same house. Hallelujah. Are you learning something? Somebody online is saying, what time is the second service? The man's name is Okafo Onyinye. It's by 10 o'clock. Number two. Let's look at the second point before Mama will come up. Number two. We are looking at in-law matters. Do not expect too much from your in-laws. If you don't want to nurse hatred. Now listen. I will explain. Do not expect too much from your in-laws. If you don't want to nurse hatred. You know some of you too. The moment you are married. You are expecting a perfect in-law. You are expecting in-law that should understand you. You are expecting in-law that will be supportive. Don't expect too much. Your in-laws too are humans. In your new one. They are your parents, so, but understand that they are not the one that gave back to you. So there are some things about you they cannot know. Now, let me explain. What do I mean by expecting too much? Don't expect that they should understand you. Understanding that saying, they should understand the way I feel. They should know that, uh -uh, I don't feel I don't I don't feel comfortable about this decision of them saying eh, take taye abroad I let your younger sister go and live with you. Your in-laws don't know that one, no. so don't expect that they should understand that you should just take anything they tell you. Now, expect part of the things you should not expect the the way you think. Don't don't expect, ah, they didn't even think of my what the way I think. They don't even think of uh, uh, who who I am. Ah, I trust my mom. That's your mom. My mom understands my feelings. My mom understands that when I make my face like this, she knows what I mean. Unders if you don't want to hate your in-laws, because that's where some people used to fight. They see that I'm just coming from outside. I was sweating. And the next thing, my husband's mother is saying, Ah, you are saying, And you are saying, don't expect that. If you expect too much from your in-laws, you will hate them. If you expect too much from your in-laws, you begin to read meanings to their reactions. And when you read meanings to their reactions, there will be misunderstandings. They can't understand you. They didn't know you from that. They only came to know you by what? By marriage. 
Now, if somebody give me pen now and say, Pastor, write about your children. I can write about my three children very, very well. I know them to their, to their bones. I know what they can do. When they are angry, I know. When they are happy, I know. When they want something from me, I know. But you can't expect me to know their spouse like that. Are you getting what I'm saying? That's why so many people have crises the moment they get married. Hallelujah. I can't hear you. Hallelujah. Let's go further. Let's go further. Understand. Sorry. It is your own family. That's parents, brothers, sisters that can understand you. Because you came from them. In-laws have their expectation. You need a lot of maturity to be able to undo them. So don't expect that. And some will be saying, Pastor, Pastor, you don't understand. My mother-in-law doesn't like me. She doesn't like me. When I cook, she doesn't eat. Don't expect too much. Quickly, let me rush through before Mama comes up. How should you undo the situation when you feel not understood? You know, there are times like that. You feel that they don't understand me. That's why they are judging me. How do you behave? How should you undo the situation when you feel not understood? Quickly, number one, do not allow the spirit of offense or else it will drive you into doing crazy things. Don't allow the spirit of offense. They don't understand my feeling. So you take offense and you begin to keep malice. You take offense. In fact, there was one case I was handling of recent. They got angry with the lady and the husband was trying to defend her. They slapped the husband and told the husband, after slapping, you will slap your wife. Don't take offense when they don't understand you. If you take offense, hear me. Ah, Sue, do not report them to your spouse. Don't say ah, but uh, my husband, my husband, my husband. Come and see, come and see what your mom, your mommy did to me. Don't do that. Do you know why? See. Love can steer your spouse up to attack his or her father or mother, and they will blame you last. Imagine you call your husband, ah, ah, dear, dear, the barrio or Timomi, Sonny Pami, not so see, ah, so see me more than so. Dear, if I don't see a let's see our Lobama major, but see, I mean, Yaomi Benye, so see, I will be whoa. So it is wrong to report your spouse parents to your spouse. Am I communicating? Don't do that. Number three, do not talk to an inexperienced person, either a friend or anybody, about it. You might be misled. Don't talk to an inexperienced person. Number four, do not tell your parents. Don't tell your parents. It might allow their emotions to make them fight for you. Imagine you go home and you are saying, Mommy, Mommy, the barin conti yao kommi so ne pa mi ne pa mi yati no afe defend. You don't talk to your don't tell you stop reporting your in-law to your parents. Listen, don't do that again. You know why? Why? It will steer your own parents to want to support you. Am I communicating? Then finally, what should I do? Talk to your counselor. Who is a counselor that you should talk to? A matured person with the proof of a happy home. Anything will not be the only happy home. Unu le basoro. Ah, ore, murike, idile ti edu. Ba o lo she in she, ah. Te ba rin konti ya o komi so si mi. Te ba rin konti ya ya o mi so si mi. Ba o le she in she, iru anything ni edu, koni veki ti edaru. Don't worry. 
be a tara or malun she won't. Don't worry. Be and come by alone, Shelly. My wife has one experience. Maybe she will share it. She made sure she didn't tell her mom. If she had told her mom, her mom would have, would have fought my mom. And who knows where it would have landed. Maybe it would have affected our relationship. Some of you wives, eh? husbands, you are the one that caused the problem in, in between your in-laws. Because you talk too much. Ewo, can you hear me? It is not everything your eyes see in marriage. You'll be talking. That's why marriage is between matured minds. Ah, mommy, mommy. Oh, I mommy. Once a pepper soup, she believe you want to get pepper soup in one year. But in my daddy, for my daddy, by Abola son of daddy. I want you. I will meet your jet. I want you. Rope me. I want you. Rope. Oh my, you can't leave me now. If if I am you, to buy me new one. Oh, Timu ya we de leni. Kishi ya ya we luni fault. I walu ti she she tu ya kuche. To mamu ya we soke a mommy a a ba ole jema aruli a pakon. Let's welcome him as he comes up. Keep clapping. Did you learn something? Clap now. Ah. Uh-uh. Praise God. Praise the mighty Jesus. Please, let's put our hands together for Papa. Thank you for the two points that you have given to us. Amen. We are still dealing with uh, the topic marriage. But now, as Papa said, that uh, we are treating the in-laws. And he has shared one or two things with us. But I will start from the third point. The third point says, don't start what you know you will not be able to continue. So all our young sisters here, please, we are actually passing this message across so that you can have um, a happy home and for you to enjoy your marriage. Don't start what you know you are not able to continue. Because this is one of the errors that most people, you know, uh, they uh, fall into and they are unable to come out of it. Because they want to win the the love of their in-laws. They will now start doing what they don't have the capacity to continue. And... uh, we find out that it's one of those things that used to affect marriages. Doesn't allow the love to grow in between the husband, the wife, the mother-in-law, the father-in-law, in one way or the other. And for us to enjoy our homes, we have to please put this in place. We are actually addressing the, 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 our sisters and our brothers still on the way. Praise God. Because if you do this, you will raise the expectation so high and you may not be able to meet it. We have some practical examples and uh, so many experiences in our dealing with members for the past 23 years. And uh, I will share one with us about one or two. The first one was between one of our brothers. He was, you know, a kind of person that... He wants the sister by all means. Okay? They started, and the, the father in law will start calling, Hello, Lagwaja, ah, please, oh, can I see Susan Susan Amount from you? He demanded the first money joyfully. This is our own uh, person. Quickly rush down. Daddy, only late. The following week, same day. The man called again. I need so 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 amount again. Same amount. That was one person. Rush down again and say, ah, that is only, and it becomes a usual habit every week. 
And the more the brother is going there, he said he does not want our own person. You know, two of them are here. They are our own member here. They said, the, the other person said, I don't want our my to be to to know what is going on. So he decided not to talk about it. But he was born in his side. Ah, I've not yet married there from their side. I've been paying dues that I don't know anything about every week. Don't start what you know you cannot continue. But it got to a stage that our own person was discouraged. He was fed up of doing what he knows he does not have the capacity to continue. So, the next thing, the words that came from the in-laws, they started saying, he has changed. She has changed. That's not the beginning. That's not what she normally, that's not how she normally re, uh, relates, you know, to us. What you know you cannot manage. What you know you cannot handle. Don't start it. Because if you back out, you will have problem with your in-laws. Praise the Lord. The second one I remember was that this is our sister wants the favor from this family also. Ah, don't talk serious about this relationship. You know, so many of us, we have that mindset so that they will accept me. She will quickly go there in the morning. Help them to sweep. Wash all their dishes. Sweep. Clean the house. Wash their clothes. In fact, when going drop some amount of money to cater for the family. Do you think such will continue? I kept telling my husband, I said this thing is a problem. It will be a big mess. Somebody will say, what are they trying to say? Are they trying to tell us not to do that for our in-laws? It will be a problem later. If you have done that in the past, the problem you are in presently is because of what you have done in the past. You'll be having problem with them. Somebody that does not have eyes does not even do that so that they will accept me. Saturday, Duba Mada, at the Friday, last Mamo. Stand and wait for the will of God. Let God perfect all that concerns you. Not by you pushing yourself down. I just want to be on a good book of my, of my in laws. And you start doing what you know that will put you into problem later. As I'm talking to you, Papa shared part of it. And I kept telling Papa then, I said, this thing will cause major problem. Because in the case whereby you marry either the only daughter of the family or you marry a, the only son of the family and you are doing that, the time you want to back out, you will have challenges. Stop doing what you know you cannot continue. Yes. I married when I was 23. Nobody me thought, nobody taught me that. I know how to do all those things. But I, I pretended as if I don't know how to do it. So that I won't have problem. Greet, disappear. Evan can testify. I know they wash. I know they do all those things. If you want, I said, I'm still a very small girl. Be over work, I will move again. Because if I continue like that, I know where I am going. It will be a problem later in the future. I'm counting 20 years. I've never had one-on-one -on -one misunderstanding with anybody in my husband's family. Not because I'm perfect. But I did not start it from the beginning. You will have your own partner, your own spouse. Wait for your own time. Hallelujah. So, stop the pretense. Because if you if you, if you if you start it and you decided to stop and say, I am tired, I will, I am the, you will, they will turn you to be something else. And they will start saying some other negative things about you to, all, to family members. They will say, she's not a big one. She doesn't even relate with anybody. She doesn't even do, you know, these are the things we put ourselves into because we want their favor. In-laws, get it right. In our, our own side here, is different from the way they handle it abroad. So don't do what you know you will not be able to maintain. Don't start what you know you will not be able to continue. Please get it right 
right from the beginning. And if you have made that mistake from the beginning, just be praying for grace. Grace to be able to overcome the challenges. But it's because it's a little bit difficult to handle. Praise the Lord. So, any relationship that is built on printers will never last. So, work on yourself. Develop good character and allow the will of God to be done in your life. Allow the will of God to be done in your life. You know, I didn't start it from the beginning, so I did not have the problem. But it came up after we had uh, the challenges of accommodation. Okay? We went back to, my, to my, my brother, and after some time, God blessed us with our own place after about some months. So when we now get there, it was the beginning of another era in marriage. I'm yet to have a child then, and uh, you know, being the first son of the family, my husband is the first son of my mother-in-law. So she made it a kind of mandatory point. They, you must bring soup to my house. Maybe she wants to know whether I know how to cook. Maybe she wants to know how I used to put things in order. I did not say anything to my mother. I did not say, I'm the last among the least. Among six of us. I did not go back and tell anybody. I said, no problem. My husband said, do you think it will be easy? I said, let's start. If you go, shall we shall see my If you go, the Luma Aquarius, let's do it. And I kept doing it. But the funniest part of it is that there are some things that came up, which I'll be telling you in, the second, in, the, in my second point, which we need to put in place. So many things comes up like that, but with wisdom, with wisdom, I just have to withdraw. And I was able to overcome it. Before my mother-in-law of blessed Mary I don't like to say that word because she's so precious, but there's nothing we can do. She's gone. Before she left, we were best friend. And that's one of the things I want all our women to understand. But let me go on. I will come back to that point in my second point. Praise the Lord. Now, a question pump up during the course of these teachings. It says, Sir or Ma, I have built my relationship with my in-laws on first wood. Now, it is killing me. What will I do? Please help. And we, we have an answer here. We say, open up to your spouse. Let him or her help you to erase their high expectation from their mind. Open up. I cannot do it. It will give them, it will be a tough time because it's, it's not easy to stop. It, will, uh, it was tough before I could be able to stop it too. But we, two of us, we are together. So we stand by ourselves and we overcome it. So this course, two of you should be uh, a kind of person. You know, you are one now. Discuss with your spouse. How can you help me? Have I tried to see if I can win their love with all these house chores I've been helping them to do. But I discovered it, it is no more convenient. How can I come out of it? Your spouse will be the one to help. He, will, he or she will know what to say to help you out of the problem. Don't keep it within yourself because later you may get, how will I call it, frustrated and uh, so many things will come up in that aspect. So please, don't start what you cannot continue. You know, something happened, and I said I would tell all our mother-in-laws, especially mothers. We don't normally have problem with fathers. But we have problem with women. I don't know. Our gen uh, this gender. God will help us. God will say amen, women. Uh, say amen. You have a son, you have a daughter. You will still become a, a mother-in-law one day. Please. Whatsoever you don't want to accept, don't give it now. I don't know. You are not as, like what I am saying now. I did not allow somebody to do it for me. I should not expect it from another person. If you can see it that way, the world will be peaceful. Oh, back on rubbish here. Ni mindset here right from the beginning. Bashi your why? So many of us, our children are still very small. What you don't want your mother-in-law to do for you, and you don't ask, allow her to do for you now, don't do it when your own children grow up. Prepare your mind. So that the world will be peaceful. Your case will be like Naomi and Ruth. Do you know we have mother-in-law in the Bible, and they undo their relationship well? We can do the same. Please. And if you have been doing that for your daughter or son-in-law, right from now, please, 
Eronamashi DA DA. Erase it. You need help? Call for domestic staff. Be the full house help that will come and help you. Not that you now want your daughter-in-law to come and be working for you. It's not possible. They have their own life to do, to, to live to. If we have it in mind, we won't have problem. And that's the reason why we are having challenges. And to are well, but we have issues. They will name that woman. You men are free. You don't know. We are the women. Women fight against women. Right from the beginning, I'm Barawajani. It's either the woman is looking at the, 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 this, the other time, Oti Bo Mommy, Oti Bago Gorie, Oti Yorie. We fight ourselves over nothing. I don't know whether you are getting me. So please, let's, let's put it right. The Lord will help us in the name of Jesus. Let me show us the second, the, uh, under the, uh, the, the, the answer. I've given us the first point. Open up to your spouse and let him or her help you. Number two, pray for God's intervention. That God, please come and help me. On this matter, I don't know how to solve it. Please help me. Number three, don't allow their reaction to get you offended. Because there will be reactions. There will be reactions. They say, oh, to stop. So many words will come out. They will, they, will, they will help you interpret that your decision into so many things. So pray and let God help you. Praise the Lord. Number two, let me quickly tell us my second point. Your in-law is not your immediate family. They are not your immediate family. There are certain things you should never expect from them. Papa said that in his second point. There are some things you don't expect from them. Number one, you know, he said about something about you talking too much. Blah, 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 blah. The first one, do not share your ugly past with, with them no matter what. You know, so many of us out of, ah, I want my sister-in-law to love me. Do you know, I, 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 I Susan so guy was my former boyfriend. Susan so person was not to the in-laws. You are actually caging yourself, putting yourself into troubles. If you share that kind of a thing with your, your, your sister or brother-in-law or your mother-in-law, ah, she loved me so much. If you discuss the whole thing, it is sort of, if you have any challenges in that marriage, they will refer to your past errors. So, be mindful of that. Thank God, we are, God has been so good to us. But despite that, me and my, my, my sister-in-law, the person that, that my, uh, the junior sister to my, bro, my husband, we are best friends before. Some of our people who have been with us can testify. But such thing never, we never discuss over issues like that before. The only thing we discuss about is Bible. Even if you see her today, if she wants to call me, she will call me Pastor Mrs. And that has been the name she has been calling me. I don't know whether you understand what I'm trying to say. It has been like that right from the beginning. Put yourself in, a, in an honorable uh, position in their presence. Don't talk too much. Exposing all your past mistakes because it will come back to taunt you again. Be wise. Number two, do not allow them to do some certain housework for you. They might take offense. And remember, your own parents may go extra miles for you. <laughs> but your in-laws cannot do that. They can't do that for you. I could remember my brother-in-law was living with us in that apartment that they gave us to manage one room. For one year, six months. He was living with us. In this room where you're from, how do we cope? We cope. The little thing I can ask him to do, oh she, she me read mistakes, any more now. I overlook it. And how old was I then? I was very young. Nobody teach me anything about it, but Bible. And I begin to look at how I can undo it so that I will not have problem. So somebody will say, "Tori po jamo kikire to marry lo she any mistake is a lie." It's a big lie. We live in one room for one year, six months without any problem. The only problem that came up was between him and his brother and not be between us. 
Because it was the brother that said, I don't, I don't like this time. I don't like any call. Man, I go feel it. We will help him. That would be my statement. I would rather be quiet. They fought and fought over it. At the end of this, they send him away. I say, because even though you talk and you don't talk, it will be on your head. So be wise. There are some things I don't ask him to do. I will be quiet. He came back a few years ago also to stay with us. When he was, you know, he came back to Nigeria to do some things. He stayed with us again for another one year. There are some things I don't ask him to do. I do my things myself. And I move. Members have lived with me before. If I don't ask them to do some things, why will I ask him to do some things for me? I move. Understand this issue so that you will not be having problems. You want them to help you to wash. You want them to go to the kitchen to cook for you. You want them... By the way, we are in Nigeria. We are not in the abroad. Though. Abroad people, they, can, they are free. But here, the person that, that you seen up with 20 years, they want you to call that person brother or sister, and you are sending them an uh, assignment. What do you expect? They'll say, ah, you know, you are will affect. Be wise. Wisdom. Praise God. Your parents can go extra mile to do some things for you. But your in-law cannot do that. They will read the negative meaning to it. Which is, either your brother-in-law or sister-in-law should be put in respectable position. Put them where they belong. Like my, in my own case, I don't poke nose into matters, especially that needs to do with my senior. Or, you know, I, I told you I'm the last one. So, if this one should bring case to me, you want me to judge? I will just cancel you as a pastor to member. Cancel you, and I will go to my senior ones. They are my senior. I can't reveal. It, 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 you know, there is a way I can talk to them. Goodbye. I will just visit it as if I'm, I'm using style to talk. And that will be the final. I don't give judgment. Because you will have problem with your sister in laws So I don't put my mouth into things like that. I counsel them and I say, Am I pray? I tell you born again. That's my counsel. Do you understand? So that we will not have issues with them. In-laws are very important because without them, you can't marry your spouse. But come back, where will you see your husband or your wife? So please apply wisdom. And the next point I'm to talk about: do not owe, uh, do not owe your in-law. No matter what you do, do your best to love within your reach. Don't borrow from your in-laws. You know, some people will say, eh, 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 "We are." Uh, ah, we are having challenges. Maybe I should call so so, so so Yes, to some extent, some people are nice to them, but to me, I see it as if <laughs> you are crossing your boundary. If the day that you promise to pay back, you were unable to pay, ah, you will have issues. So I can still talk to my people here than for me to call my in-laws. Hey, for what? Let that gap be there. Use wisdom to undo them so that you will not be having problems. Very good. In-laws are very good. They help you to bring up a child, a, a, you know, a good spouse that you marry. But please, I beg you, put them where they belong. Don't overstretch your boundary. Do what you're supposed to do. I have sisters-in-law. About three of them. One is a pastor. We have, you know, other one that is not. The other one semi. We have them in three categories. And I know how I relate. This one, I don't stretch myself over. Pastor, I oh, we cancel ourselves as pastor and pastor missus. She may decide to just walk down. Pastor MC, she seniored me with years. Pastor MC, come by, oh dear damn She called me Pastor MC. She doesn't call me day by name. Right from the beginning, even when she was engaged to my brother, she called me Sister Yemisi. When I became a pastor, she called me Pastor Yemisi because I was the one who best her. So if the issue comes up like that, she will ask me, Pastor Yemisi, how far? I said, no problem. On this matter, let's read this way. Let's pray along, but I pretend as if you did not tell me anything. I will know how to undo it. I will call my brother. 
how far? Faster. You will greet me. Let me say how far. So, 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 so issue. Hello, correct. Eh? Ah, no, you don't understand. He's a pastor. He will always want to use the word. You know, I know more than you in the scripture. I say, yeah, we both know the scripture. But on this aspect, this and this is not. My, my husband will say, we will use the Bible to cancel ourselves. He may come back and say, He may come to the back without my husband knowledge. He will come to the school. Okay, I will try my best. Boy, Sharon, you use to over. You know, sometimes I say, Oh, we are pastors. And that's how we set to it. But to the other one, I don't over. Do you want to say, Oh, we are pastors. And that's how we set to it. I don't over. The way I will bring it, it will be in another direction. So I don't even talk about it. You say I should go on. Go on like that. I say, oh, brother, I say, oh, I say, oh, brother, I pray for me, sure, no. And I move. The, the, the first one doesn't have much problem. But my, my, that my sister-in-law will come down to me in the school. Alpha, she will call me, pass me, see. I am the last. So every more you hate, see, more for you, Miller. But when they come around, ah, let me buy this, buy this. We we'll discuss. We we'll talk at length. She will tell me all the problems she has been encountering. Then we'll pray. Let's do it this way. Why don't you take this step like this? I don't overstretch myself. I don't go beyond my boundary. If you can do it that way, you won't have problem with anybody. I greet my own in-law from my own side. Greet them. Greeting. If they ask me a question, I will answer them according to what I know. And I will keep quiet. The reason why we are having problems is that we put our we 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 go beyond the normal limits we're supposed to stay. Ofer mo he, ofer mo b, ofer mo c, ofer mo d, o visit mo, o lo le mo. You are going out of boundary. Go to their house, greet them, and and vamos. Don't be the one to control or to lord over. The Lord will give us wisdom and help us. In the second service, I will be telling you more about how I handle cooking. Soup every week. Hallelujah. Are you blessed? So we spoke on how many things today? Four. Two from us, my side. Two from my side. What's the first one again? I told us when we started, don't get, get it right at the foundation. Don't marry into your parents' house while they are still alive. Don't take your wife to your parents' house and live there while they are still alive, or else you will not have a happy or free spouse. And the same thing as a man too, we said it. What's the second point we talked about? Number two, don't expect too much from your in-laws. They are not the one that gave back to you. They may not know you, so limit your expectation. And I taught us how to undo disappointment. You are disappointed, I told you, do not allow the spirit of offense. And we spoke about four other things. Then she said, don't start what you will not be able to continue. Don't do eye service because you want your husband or wife's family to love you. You know, if you stretch yourself to win their love, you will keep stretching yourself to maintain it. And if care is not taken, you might lose your life in the presence. Let them know who you are from the beginning. Let them know. Let them know some things. Are you hearing me, young brothers? From the beginning. So that you will not continue to live up to that expectation throughout your life. Now, and listen, like she said, we have people in our church here now that are facing serious crisis. Because they stretch themselves at the beginning. One case we are earning of recent. They, had to, they, they, they almost beat the lady, the wife. Because that time we were saying it. She would go and cook. She would go and wash. She, would, she was doing everything. Any Any Don't beg somebody to marry you. Are you hearing me, brothers and sisters? Then... She talked and on the last point. What's the last point she spoke about? Do not allow, oh, sorry, that your in-law are not your immediate family. 
there are certain things you should never expect from them. And what's the first one she said? Do not share your ugly past. Those odd pasts you had. Number of boyfriends. Number of girlfriends. You are now telling your in-law. Ma? Uh, number of abortions. Ah, ah, mommy. Ah, can you do the born again? Can you do Anybody to repeat, yeah, yeah, okay, get born again. Ah, oh my, get born before. Tell about it, baby, mom. Praise the Lord. And she said this one, very important. She said, do not allow them to do houseworks, house chores for you. Abru okwewa, abru yawewa, unko box afu, unko location lock. Don't do that. Ishe to le ran abru tiye, o le ran abru okwe. Ishe to le ran abru tiye, o le ran abru yawe. Are you hearing me? Put them in respectable place. That's why in our culture, I told us when we started, we are Africans. In our culture, we used to say, Oro, ni ano. Put them in respect, respectable place. A pastor friend of mine almost lost a whole church because the junior brother of his wife came to him and told him that God said I should come and serve you. He would have refused it. But he allowed the young man. The young man will come to the house in the morning. He will wash the car. And that young man was the first son of the entire family. He washed the car. Man of God, prophesy over my life. He give clothes. He wash his clothes. Man of God, prophesy. One prophet just came to their church one day and said, God showed him that they are using the star of the firstborn, first son. As I'm talking to you, about 70% of the members left the church with the family of the wife. Fear no, see, I hear no. No matter how nice they are. No matter how, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. And no, ni mo, fi won sa, yeah, no. Iya e li wa kube e fokwata e. O li so ke ki ye e li kunia he mi ki ludi to kubra so mi. You know, your mommy can do it, I know, I know her. You know, say, imagine, they can feel me, me, one, one, two, she mommy, one, le ba me for bra, one, they for showing, one, for showing, ah, he ko ja ye ni ye. You know, I have to be practical because some of you don't understand proverbs. And when she comes up, she goes, Sorry, ah, mommy, lie, 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 lie. But to buy a chair, I live by me for me, I live by me for me, ah, you are no lie, you are no lie, by me for now. And then, then, he be. Then finally, she said, Do not owe your in law, King Jan, no, Lugo. To buy me, do you want to wear Lossia here or talk? We handled one case over ah, Martin Malini 19 years ago. Listen to this. Let's close with it. We have taken time. Over 19 years ago, the, man, the husband misbehaved. So the woman packed out of the house. The family of the wife that, the, 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 that can call the husband to order now needed money. Only the, woman. the wife was telling them, don't borrow money from my husband. If you borrow money from my husband, I know my husband. You'll not be able to talk to him. But they neglected the advice and went to borrow money from the man. When they now called the man, they could not control him. They couldn't command him. They couldn't tell him some truth. Do you know that some husbands are like that? The wife's family cannot call them once and they will answer. Do you know why? They have gone to borrow money from him. All the wives, if you want to see if you want to see a your war, law war koe. Are you hearing me? So that any time they call your husband, your husband can respond. Emma yaki ebi kwa yinde bi odo ano. Kewani belet fe lo yao. Kewani wong fe shoku. Elok ba sho. Eh, ti son wo. Mwa ma sin yin lo. Eh, ti son wo a sho ku yen. Shibana wani, shibana wani. No, 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 no. Put yourself in honorable positions. And all the wives, tell your brothers, if they have need, they shouldn't call your husband. It is you, the wife, that should know how to use wisdom, collect money from your husband, and give to your brother. But don't put your brothers under the control of your husband. Because if he misbehaves, 
there should be people that should be able to call him. Femi! Bori Emabonse. And he will run. Are you getting what I'm saying? You are not hearing me. Let's close this service. Let's go on break. So that by 10... Uh, let's make it 10.20. The second service will begin. Rise up on your feet. After today's anointing service, 